Hello everyone, Debbie, Sarah, Diana, are you all there? It's quiz time. Hello Johnny. Well actually this week we were going to do the story of the ten lepers that Jesus here. Yes I know, hence the quiz on skin. Oh good, I like sciencey things. I hope it's multiple choice Johnny. Yeah, OK. But by the way, does everyone know that our skin is an organ, like our heart and lungs and stuff? Except it's on the outside, obviously. Right, anyway, everyone get some paper and a pen and get ready to write down the answers to these questions. Question one. Human skin can regenerate itself. How often is a new layer replaced? Every 28 to 30 days, 58 to 60 days, or 128 to 130 days? It's just 28 to 30 days. It's amazing. It's like you're a whole new person on the outside every month. Question two. What percentage of your body weight is made up of your skin? Is it 5%, 10% or 15%? It's 15%. Well done if you said that. Question 3. True or false? Most of the dust in your home is made up of dead skin cells. It's false. Fortunately, that is just a myth. Otherwise, that would be gross. Question four. The thinnest skin on the human body is our eyelids. How thick are they? Are they 0.2 millimeters? 0.6 millimetres or one centimetre thick? They're only 0.2 millimetres thick. That's so thin and delicate. Although when I'm feeling sleepy, they can feel really heavy. Anyway, there we go. How did you do? Did anyone get them all right? Well, I didn't do very well on that quiz. Um, I often struggle with sciencey stuff. Actually, I often struggle with skin generally. I've got eczema. All this hand washing isn't very good for my skin. But Debbie, it's got to be better than leprosy. Leprosy was a terrible disease in Jesus' time if you had it. You had to leave your family, your home, even your town and stay in complete isolation away from everyone you loved. Oh, and we know a little bit about isolation now, don't we? It's not fun. These days, there is a treatment for leprosy and apart from a few places in the world, it has been completely wiped out. But in Jesus's day, it filled people with fear. Well, in this story, Jesus is heading into Jerusalem when he sees 10 people with leprosy all stuck outside the city. They stood at a distance and called out to Jesus to help them. And Jesus just tells them to go and show themselves to the priest, because that's what you'd do if you got better and you needed permission to come back home again. So off they went to see the priest, and as they obeyed Jesus, they got better. It was a miracle, done from a distance. Sometimes Jesus healed lepers by actually touching them, which would have been exciting to see because no one ever touched lepers or even went near them. Well, it was a miracle. But strangely, although ten people with leprosy were healed, only one came back to Jesus to say thank you. Which reminds me, you know last week when I sent those three letters, 
Well, all three of them have got in touch to say thank you for sending a letter. Isn't that nice? People really like getting letters. We should try to remember to say thank you more often to people around us. It does make a difference. And as Christians, Debbie, Sarah, Diana and me, we all believe that we have a lot to thank Jesus for as well. Oh, wow. So much to thank Jesus for, like trees and chocolate and, and googly eyes on toilet rolls. Well, I'm thankful for Alfie's company and for Jesus, who's with me all the time. I'm thankful for this time of Lent, when we remember everything that Jesus did for us on the cross. I'm thankful for the cross too, Sarah, and everything about Easter, really. Debbie, would you like to say the prayer this week? Yes, <clears throat> but now, actually, I feel a bit silly, because I said I was thankful for googly eyes on toilet rolls, and, and you all said sensible holy stuff. Well, I'm also really thankful that I have skin. Otherwise, I'd be quite messy. I'd, I'd only have my onesie to hold everything in. Good point, Johnny. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for our skin and for the fact that there's now a cure for leprosy. Thank you for that one man who came back to thank you and how it's reminded us all that we need to be thankful. There are so many things we could thank you for, like chocolate and healthy. But most of all, we thank you for Lent and this time of preparing for Easter, a time to think about how all the wrong we do keeps us away from you as though we're in isolation and that because of Easter, we can be forgiven be healed on the inside and come close to you. Amen.